Hey guys, it's Nikita with Kita Lee. Today I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape to get a design or text ready to use in your Glowforge pass through. So first I'm going to want to get my artboard set up and I will go to document properties. I like to set it up at a width of 19 by height of 10.5. This isn't the size of your bed, however, it's the size roughly what the Glowforge allowed you, allows you to cut. So exit out of that, and I'm going to do one for donuts. My son's gonna have a donut birthday party. So donuts, and I'm going to use the font Autumn and November. I really like this font cut out in, um, on the Glowforge. So I'll link that in the description below. So size it up. And we're going to path, object to path, object, ungroup, and then path, union. That'll make all of the letters into one solid path. Next, I'm going to rotate it. So that is the direction it will go through the Glowforge and the Glowforge path. And I'm going to want to size it, let's see here. This is about 19 inches wide. Let's go about 23. If you press this little lock, it will make these two go at the same ratio versus making it wonky. And then we're going to want to size it in there, see how it will cut. Um, so let's go about there. And this is a good point right here, right at the edge of that part of the N. So as I zoom in, we're also going to want to change the fill strokes and the strokes. So double click down here. We want a stroke. Let's just do green since that's what popped up. And no fill. So right here, zoom in. It's about where we want to break it. Press the little node button, edit paths, and then click it, and then we will want to use this one, it is the one node into two, and it will turn blue when that happens, and we're going to do the same on this side, it'll turn blue when that happens, and then zoom out, Ob I mean path, break apart, and then we're going to select it all and control K, or it could also be combined. So I control K the top of the donuts, and now I'm going to want to control K because I have little parts of the S as well. And then once that happens, I can move this up. And I'm going to want to break it probably about here. So let me change my color. Let's do a nice blue. That one might actually be hard. So let's do a darker purple. And I'm going to do it right about here. And I'm going to do the same. Get the nodes. Click on it. It'll turn blue. And it'll turn blue. And then zoom out. Object break apart, I mean path, break apart, sorry. And then I'm going to want to get that piece, control K, and then these pieces over here, control K. Now we have three separate pieces. Let's, I like to put them on top of each other, it's easier to move it around in the Glowforge. So let's make that a maroon. You're also going to want to make them each of the paths separate colors. This will tell the Glowforge these are separate unions and you can actually choose which one each of them does at each pass through. So if you see close up, you're going to want the edges to have an empty hole and that will be on all of them. So let's see here the empty hole on the other side and then this empty hole right here. It won't have an empty hole at the edge. 
So then you will file save as an SVG. File save as. And then you'll open it up in Glowforge. Okay, so I have the design loaded in and ready to go and the material in the Glowforge as well. I'm going to choose the settings for my first one, the D, O, and half of the N, and it's Baltic Birch 0.12. I'll um, link all of the material I use and I'll give you the, um, the settings in the description below. So once I have that, it turns red, so you can see that that's what it's gonna cut. I'm gonna set the focus. So I like to, on the first pass, just set the focus kind of medium-wise down. So I click that. Okay, that changed it. So then I'll move it to where I find is a good place, a little bit down, make sure I have enough room for everything, and I will click print. From there, I'll press the nice glowing button to get it started. This part will take one minute and 26 seconds, it looks like. Okay, so I had that cut, press dismiss. Now I'm going to go and ignore that part and do the second part, cut Baltic Birch and then I will set the focus. I like to set this at the point that I'm going to line it up. So set that focus. It's focused, zoom in. Zoom in as close as you can. This will help better get it really lined up. And It lined up right on that spot. Press print again. Once it's ready, press the glowing button, and that's number two. Okay, got that done. Press dismiss, zoom out. going to ignore this part and cut this part. Last part and set the focus to one of those points. Yep. And then zoom in again. Line it up. And press print. This will be your third and final cut. And just like that, it's a wrap. Like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks, happy crafting.